mark my words, there is nothing that defeats shaitan more than unity. And there's nothing that makes shaitan win over our hearts, over our lives, more than disunity. And you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us an ummah. You know, we may have other labels uh, that we abide by that are man-made labels like, you know, the names of our countries. You know, we may be Libyan or Egyptian or Sudanese or Saudi or whatever, Pakistani or Somali. But these are not, these were all labels made by the British government really after the Ottoman Empire. These lines were drawn in the map. So that's one level of division we have. And then another level of division we have is uh, me and my sheikh are going to Jannah. And I don't know about the rest of you, you know, and you just forget, you just are happy with you and your sect of Islam. And you forget about what's going on in the Ummah. And uh, so this type of attitude is not very helpful because there's n there's nothing that is more problematic for the forces of shayateen right our problem is not others our problem is not uh, zionism as such our problem is not the uh, the the hindu uh, nationalists our problem is not uh, the the whoever is causing problems in the world our biggest problem is we're not able to get along ourselves we're not able to establish unity ourselves. If we had unity, no one would be able to touch us. No one would be able to do anything to us. And, you know, we are divided from our homes, from husband and wife level, parent to child level, and you go on all the way up to the ummah level, and we're divided. And so shaitan wins when we're divided. And shaitan loses when we are united. And to be united, you need qalbun salim. You need a good heart. You need to be able to forgive. You need to be able to forget. Even the people that killed, you know, uh, the, uh, for example, just think of this example, right? Uh, Akrama, who was the, the son of Abu Lahab. Uh, and uh, 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 he was the son of Abu Jahl. And he accepted Islam. And the Prophet said, Sallallahu he said, don't abuse the dead father to hurt the living person. Meaning Akrama is alive, he's now become Muslim. Don't abuse his dad, he was Abu Jahl, but don't abuse him. Meaning here is a person who has fought against Islam all his life and the Prophet is standing. You know, this is a qalbun salim, this is a pure heart. This is a good heart. And when people have a good heart, they move towards unity. And when people have a arrogant heart or a rusted heart, then they go towards disunity. And this is the other thing that I want to mention that's very important, is that, you know, our ibadah is supposed to make us more humble. But if our ibadah makes us more arrogant, if our ibadah makes us more like judge other people as just judging them all the time, then what's the use of the ibadah that we do? Because, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونِي I have not created men or jinn except to worship me, meaning to, to be my abd, to be my slaves, to be my servants. And, the, there is nothing that makes shaitan more upset than having unity and you can't have unity until you have a good heart, an open heart, you're able to forgive, you're able to move on, you have be able to have husnul zan, a good opinion about other people, you can't have unity. Our problem is not the enemies of Islam, our problem is us. Our problem is we don't have the correct attitude, we don't have the prophetic attitude. And because we don't have prophetic attitude, we uh, talk about unity sometimes in, in the wrong sense, which I'll talk about later. So the first point I wanted to make is, you know, these countries, these countries are man-made borders. The whole earth belongs to Allah. لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ For Allah is the, whatever is in the heavens and the earth, it belongs to Allah. There's, there's no countries. This is a, a modern phenomenon. This was done for, you know, started with the French Revolution of nationalism, right? And when the Ottoman Empire was destroyed, then they had to, you know, divide the countries into different groups and so on and so forth. And so this was the, a sign, okay, a sign that shaitan has beginning to take over the world because now the world was getting divided by these borders. And shaitan loves unity and shaitan uh, hates unity, right? And so 
uh, I talk about unity of the Muslims, and then what happens? Uh, newspapers like this one, WND, uh, Chicago Imam, Islamic Caliphate, our ultimate aim. So if I talk about Khilafah, and you know, it, it's so ridiculous what these people are doing, right? Because they are, um, they're just assuming things in thin, thin air, okay? Chicago Imam, Islamic Caliphate, our ultimate aim. Yeah, what's wrong with Muslim unity? What's wrong with Muslims having a Khilafah of their own? You mean, the minute you make, you talk about, you know, if you talk about Islam and prayers, no one has a problem. You talk about Islam and fasting, no one has a problem. You talk about Islam and its precepts, no one has a problem. But the minute you start talking about the Islamic economic system, you start talking about the Islamic social system, you start talking about the Islamic political system, oh man, because those things require unity of the Muslims. Ibadah you can do, you know, you just you do ibadah. But the, the, when you start talking about the things that create bigger and higher unity, you know, they don't mind, uh, and I'll, I'll talk about this in a second. So all these newspapers, right, without ever consulting me, asking me, talking to me, taking my opinion, Chicago, Illinois-based Chicago uh, Sheikh Omar Baloj, Islamic Relief Organization should promote the caliphate as long-term solution to humanitarian problems. Now, I don't know about this uh, people, but I thought they were pretty in the middle. They just made a statement. Middle East, uh, Middle East Media Research Institute TV Monitor Project. I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, then you got these guys, the elder statement, you know, and, and they just copy from one another. They've never talked to me. They've never interviewed me. Chicago Iman, Islamic Caliphate, our ultimate aim. As if, oh my God, it's such a bad thing, right? For Muslims to be united. This should tell you guys that a small person, a no one, a nobody like me, says we should have Khilafah and the forces of Shaytan, they start to go to work. Because maybe I affected a few hearts that convinced them that, yes, maybe we need Islamic Khilafah. Breaking news, right? Chicago Imam, Islamic Caliphate, our ultimate aim. Now, uh, you know, they, part of this I want to share with you over here. Uh, how loyal do you think Sheikh Omar Baloch is to the American system of non-establishment of a religion and Republican governmental system? First of all, that sentence is written wrong. And second of all, one has nothing to do with the other, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, uh, and this is another uh, website, Chicago Imam Islamic Caliphate, our ultimate aim. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm sorry, but you know, if you don't have a problem with, uh, here's another website. Organizations should promote the Islamic Caliphate as a long-term solution to humanitarian problems. Why are they upset? Because I said that, you know, giving a few dollars every month or so is not going to really help the situation, which it's not. And it will just, it's just a bandage until you're cut in another spot. And then you put a bandage there. And then you're cut in another spot. And you put a bandage there. Until you, you got to find a real, and you'll just die out by bleeding and putting bandages all over yourself. Right? Here's another website. Uh, so here's my thing. It's okay for Jewish people to have a homeland and to talk about a homeland and to support them to have a homeland. But it's not okay for Muslims to do it, right? Uh, it's okay for the Vatican City to be uh, a leader uh, and to lead the Catholic people. That's okay. But Muslims, no, can't do that. You know, it's okay for the Dalai Lama to lead his people. But Muslims, oh no, don't talk about Muslim leadership. Don't talk about Muslim unity, you know. Uh, talk about greater Europe, yeah, that's okay. But talk about Islam being united, Muslims being united, no, no, no. We have to put even more borders, you know. We want small little little countries like Qatar and uh, small little little countries like UAE, right? So that we can control you. Talk about greater Europe, oh, that's okay, right? Talk about greater India, that's okay too. But don't talk about Khilafah. Don't talk about Muslims being united. Don't talk about Muslims being an ummah, right? Oh, greater Israel? Oh, that's fine. Talk about greater Israel. But never talk about Muslim unity. I just don't understand this. You know, I, I wish one of these guys would actually like talk to me. Because what they say is such a big double standard. 
right? Uh, please do subscribe. Uh, I put this in here because, you know, uh, I wish people would like my video, subscribe my video, share my videos, and go look at my channel. I have a lot of interesting topics there, inshallah, that will benefit uh, the Muslim Ummah, inshallah. That's my intention, inshallah. Talk about Greater China. China wants to take over Hong Kong, Taiwan, a few other places. Some people are against it. Some people are for it. But but not against it like the way you would be against a caliphate. Oh my God, an Islamic caliphate. Oh, you know, convert a masjid, a church into a masjid. Church converted to a masjid. No one has a problem, right? No one has a problem if you convert a church into a masjid, right? That's that's fine. But keep your Islam in a certain in the private space in the in your but to make islam in public space where people can see islam where people can observe the justice of islam where people can see the brotherhood of islam where people can see the unity of islam no they can't they can't allow that right we are an ummah and you know one of the meanings of the word ummah is al qasd we have the same we are a people with the same purpose this is what makes us great you know I don't know if you know this, but I'll share with you something interesting. The word ummah, right? One of the derivative derivatives of the word ummah is the word imam. When you have an ummah, there's an imam, right? And so we are an ummah. We have to have an imam. We have to. We have to have unity. I mean, it's not about hating other people or taking revenge from other people. We don't want khilafah because we want to be dominating the world. We don't. We just want Khilafa so we can be united under Islam and have some country that can speak for us, some place, some state, some civilization that can speak for us. You know, the Arab countries, they fear, right? They fear the idea of Khilafa, the Arab countries, like Egypt, where you have General Sisi. I, SubhanAllah, I don't even want to say something negative. And you have the Saudi family, may Allah have mercy on them may Allah have mercy upon all of us but those people that are on the top they are the biggest enemies of Islam in, in the Muslim countries they're the biggest enemies of Islam and they would be the first one to oppose us because they want to keep their little little islands and little little lands like you know little little spaces that they are in charge of rather than having the unity of the Ummah and so here it is um, so it's, it's, it's up to us, I wish, you know, there's a statement uh, in the Lord's Prayer in the Bible, Thy will be done on earth as it is in the heavens. That's what it is. Whatever the will of Allah is, it should be done on earth. Earth belongs to Allah. This is what we believe. So we believe, but we don't want that. We don't want it as an expansionist. We don't want it for wars. We don't want it to do injustice. We want Islam to have unity of the Muslims. And to, to be able to properly practice Islam. We cannot properly practice Islam without Khilafah. There, the, more than half of the rules, right? Everything from Islamic sociology, gender relationships, to all the way to our Islamic economics. None of those rules can be really practiced without a pro proper Islamic state, without a Khilafah. And so, um, here we are. Are we going to help ourselves be united? And we're not going to be united unless we talk about this issue. And we talk about the fact that we need to be united. And so, but the problem is shaitan will do anything to, for us not to unite. And will go to any de degree not to unite. And you see the example here that somebody like a nobody like me even speaks about khilafah. And then you have these newspaper articles being written about me and uh, you know uh, that shows you that how 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 shaitan doesn't want unity just doesn't want unity and so we have to do the opposite right so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, unite us Allahumma alif bayna qulubina wa Allah unite the hearts of the Muslims may we stand up and be and 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 start looking for, for, for that future at least start this dream it's the, we're all in the same boat if 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 one part of the muslim falls we all begin to fall and if 
one part of the Muslim world gets strong, then we all begin to get strong. And so we're all in the same boat, right? The if you put a hole in the boat, the whole boat's going to sink. So you, you can you can eat. at least let's start dreaming that we want Khilafah. We want the Muslims to unite, not because we want revenge, but because we want, not because we want revenge against others, but because we want our unity. And if the Jewish people can do it, if the Dalai Lama can do it for his people, then, I mean, and the Vatican do it, can do it, then what's wrong if Muslims want their unity? And I think Muslims need to be bold enough to be able to start speaking about this dream that we want Khilafah, and it's only when this dream will come alive will we be ready for the Mahdi to really come into the scene. So, Jazakumullah khairan, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe today and make sure you like and make sure you leave your comments and ideas. Jazakumullah khairan, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله